Time for our Spotlight program. As we do each Tuesday prior to the first Friday, it is time to talk about the Art Walk. Donya and Terry's in with us this morning. Good morning, ladies. How are you? Good morning. Great, thanks. Well, let's uh, jump right into it. The May Art Walk as we hit, uh, I guess, and for all intents and purposes, the, the summer months of Art Walk. We start with the Art in Motion Art Walk this Friday night. So tell us about some of the highlights. Well, um, this uh, Friday we're actually going to have... Um, uh, at, we're hoping to have outside um, entertainment uh, because the weather is looking so good. Our main focus will be dance and art in motion. And actually, Terry's here to discuss that because Terry uh, is single handedly creating an incredible show um, or organizing an incredible show with um, wonderful performers at the Sondheim at 7 30 on Saturday. Tell us about Friday. Fr- did I say Saturday? Yeah, you did. Okay, I not enough coffee this morning. It's the first Friday. <laughs> I should walk. know that. Too. First Friday, yes. Well, we're in our. I think this is our fourth year of doing the Art in Motion Dance Showcase, and we're going to be on the Sondheim stage. One of the things that makes this event really unique: this is the only dance show that happens in Fairfield that really is sort of a meeting of the feet of every genre of dance and all different dance studios coming together to get on the stage to create a show that really showcases dance. Dance has really been sort of an underrated art form as a performing art format in Iowa. And And so we use this as a platform to really promote art and sort of the athletic and artistic qualities of of dance itself. So we have over 40 dancers that are going to take the stage on Friday night. They're going to represent over 17 different types of dance genres. And they're going to be just showcasing a variety of different things from swing dance to ballroom dance to jazz and modern to hip hop and Katak Bollywood dance. We have all different kind of things happening. The show we're going to keep a little bit shorter this year than we have in the past. It's going to flow really beautifully, and we've got some great stuff happening with um, with a variety of local dancers. You've got your favorite dancers out there, Hillary Jordan, Tiffany Sanner, Wendy Stiegel. Some of your favorite dancers are going to be on the stage. All of these dancers do this show pro bono. They do it in support of Art Walk. They do it because they love to dance, and they do it because they love to promote dance. So it's going to be really, really a lot of fun. One of the highlights is going to be, there's two things. You're going to get a preview of Tiffany Sanner's show, her Art of Dance show that she always does in May. You're going to get a preview of that show on um, this Friday night. You're also going to get a preview of Hillary Jordan's show, Persephone, that she's planning for June. So we've got some really cool things that are going to give you sneak peek of some of the dance shows that are going to be coming up. If you, have, if you haven't been to one of these dance shows, I, I've, uh, I've, I've helped with a couple of these, and it's, it's amazing the, 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 the broad range of uh, dance styles that you have. You yes, know, there's a huge range. I mean, contemporary jazz and ballet to uh, folk dancing to square dancing. It's uh, pretty cool. Yep, and this year we have, for the first time, we have five-year-olds tap dancing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. How about <laughs> so some cloggers? You got any cloggers? <laughs> no cloggers unless you're, you're planning to be in it, Steve. Uh, we, you know what we need to bring back? I know it's too late this year, but the fire people. Yes, yeah, those are those well, guys are really fun. Yeah, cool. yeah, not this year, but you know, one of the things that I do think is really cool is this is really a great opportunity for the studios to get their kids exposed to performing on the stage. So we do have some kids that perform um, near the beginning of the show. Um, And that is just really, it's just so great to see these kids get their confidence in performance. Uh, Cost associated with attending the uh, dance uh, It's only five bucks. Just five dollars. So it's very reasonable. It's open seating. So you want to get there. Uh, 6.30, the tickets go on sale in front of the um, Sondheim Theater. So you want to get there, get your tickets. It is open seating. So you want to get there early. All right. So again, that's 6.30 on Friday night, part of the Art in Motion Art Walk this Friday evening. And this is a fundraiser for Art Walk yeah. as well. Uh, Don, you mentioned the live mm-hmm. music. You have a, a band on the gazebo, but also some uh, other musicians scattered about to all points around the square. Is that right? Talk about that. That's right. We're, we're um, introducing something uh, new to this Art Walk that we're hoping to continue um, uh, for the summer months, the Art Walk Buskers. Uh, buskers are performing musicians that, um, well, it's kind of a, they've been around for over 100 years, that concept where uh, musicians uh, stand around and uh, put out a little, uh, you know, bucket or jar for money and open their guitar case. Open their guitar case, exactly. So uh, we're excited to uh, start having uh, buskers uh, playing around the square before the main um, uh, act on the gazebo. 
uh, and uh, it's good. Buskers are going to start around uh, six o'clock from uh, six to uh, uh, eight o'clock or six thirty to eight o'clock, and then also Blue Cat Alley will be playing at eight till ten. And that's on yes, that's in and the that's, gazebo. And that's in the gazebo, and we'll also have uh, vendors and um, food vendors and artisans on the square. All right. Uh, is it too late for a vendor or somebody to no, sign up? No, it's not not at all too late. Um, you can go to our website, fairfieldartwalk.org, and uh, sign up, or you can contact us at fairfieldartwalk at gmail.com, or give us a call at 233-8883. And we're also looking for volunteers. We still need volunteers for a variety of different things for this upcoming Art Walk. Uh, the list is on our website, and you can either email me or call me uh, if you're interested in helping. And uh, the earliest you could start really is uh, around noon on Friday and also we're looking for some help in uh, moving some equipment uh, Thursday evening at 8 so if you can't help during the day of Art Walk um, uh, you can give me a call and, and maybe spend an hour helping out on Thursday evening. Donnie and Terry are here talking about this Friday's Art Walk, the first Friday's Art Walk, Art in Motion, this Friday evening on the square and around the square in downtown Fairfield. A couple of their highlighted items, uh, the Maze of Murals, which is an ongoing project in downtown Fairfield. One of the artists will be on hand this Friday. That's right, and they'll be at the um, d at the square. Uh, we'll have the four a Maze of Mural artists. Uh, you can come and meet them and chat with them and learn more about the murals that they'll be putting up uh, this summer and also um, there'll be a new installation uh, called The Music Notes by Sue Berkey and that is right next to Cafe Paradiso on the west side of the square. And you say it's already in place but the dedication will be on Friday evening? Uh, that's my understanding. Uh, Sue um, had, uh, sent me an email and I've uh, sent me a photo of it and it looks like that it's going to be on Friday, yes. Another big part of the Art Walk, of course, is the uh, galleries and shops around the square in downtown Fairfield. Um, do you have any highlights from the, some of the galleries? Donnie? Well, uh, we have actually the Carnegie Historical Museum will have um, uh, run a continuous showing uh, in honor of dance of uh, Martha Graham's um, uh, work um, and Aaron Copeland, um, who composed a ballet for her in 1944. Uh, so that's kind of fun and interesting. And then also we have uh, America's Gallery, um, America's Diamond Gallery, uh, Fairfield Art Association, Flying Leap, uh, Icon Gallery, uh, Revelations, uh, The Beauty Shop, and CMS Ceramics, which actually they're located um, at 404 North 3rd Street, uh, west side of St. Mary's. Again, Art Walk this Friday night, uh, the, the, the main attraction will be the uh, dance show at the Fairfield Arts and Convention Center, 6.30. Tickets are just $5. And again, Terry, a quick synopsis of what people will see. We're going to have 40 dancers on that stage uh, d representing 17 different styles of dance. We've got music from Lady Gaga to Michael Jackson to Louis Armstrong to Chopin. So it's going to be a variety of things happening it's there. Be awesome. Only $5 to um, see the show starting at 7.30. We'll get you out early enough to go around and see all the other things happening at Art Walk. So we hope everybody comes out and has a good time. Before we let you go, Tanya, uh, we talked this morning a little bit on the news. There was a news uh, uh, blurb here on KMCD Classic 96 about sponsorship opportunities, uh, corporate sponsorship opportunities for Art Walk. Um, explain a little bit about that, uh, what you're looking for, who, what, what's available. Oh, well, uh, it, uh, there, the it, availability is... is uh, getting slimmer actually we have a, a lot of uh, companies that are uh, becoming monthly sponsors of Art Walk uh, they're signing up to sponsor an entire month uh, there are a lot of benefits uh, to the company that does that and of course uh, it's a great benefit to Art Walk and to the community uh, I'd say right now we have about um, six or seven months that have already been sponsored uh, so it's it's going very well and if you're interested and, and want to learn more about it um, contact us and we can tell you more it's very exciting very exciting for Art Walk are there different levels of sponsorship? Is Are there only one sponsorship available per, per month, or are there different levels on a monthly basis? Well, we're rolling out the monthly sponsorships now. There will be some other levels that will be available to companies that uh, definitely want to contribute to Art Walk but are not in a position to sponsor an entire month, and that will be rolling out shortly. One of the Iowa tourism events of the year? Is that what, 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 what was it? What did we get named? Uh, Iowa Terry? tourism event of the year. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Yep. It's the Art Walk. First Friday's yeah. Art Walk this Friday evening on the square in downtown Fairfield. Hope to see you there. Anything else before we let you go, ladies? No, other than come and, and, and come to Art Walk, enjoy the, the day and uh, evening, and um, 
check out some of Fairfield's best talent at the Sondheim at 7.30. Yep, watch the dancers and then go see Blue Cat Alley and dance yourself. All right, that's Art Walk this Friday night here on In the Square in downtown Fairfield. Stay tuned. Coming up in a matter of moments, look at the markets on KMCD.